Hi, I'm Carlos Remolina. I'm a physician uh, localized in Linden, New Jersey. I'm a pulmonologist. And in our practice, we treat uh, bronchial asthma, among other pulmonary diseases. But bronchial asthma is very dear and important to me, since I have a tremendous number of patients that have asthma. Along uh, with asthma, we treat patients who have other, other pulmonary illnesses, including cancer of the lung, um, respiratory failure, sarcoidosis, uh, COPD, etc. But bronchial asthma is important because there's a tremendous amount of patients that have bronchial asthma. The spectrum of bronchial asthma goes from babies that are born with asthma to elderly people. We see patients here that are basically adults, and our, the age group we see here starts at approximately uh, 20 years of age until uh, very elderly. Patients with bronchial asthma have a spectrum of diseases from being a mild asthmatic to being a severe asthmatic. A mild asthmatic may just require a rescue inhaler. A severe asthmatic, sometimes their lives are compromised because of respiratory failure that they can develop. Bronchial asthma is, uh, presents usually with cough, tightness in the chest, shortness of breath, dyspnea, and exertion. In our office, we evaluate our patients and we usually do the ACT test, which is uh, the asthma control test. Basically, this test, uh, with, uh, by answering five simple questions, we're going to be able to get an idea of the flow of air. And this is how we measure asthma, how, how uh, advanced or how mild it is by doing pulmonary function studies. We do pulmonary function studies in our office, and it takes only a few minutes, and it will give us an idea exactly how much flow obstruction the patient has and how they react to bronchodilators. The treatment of bronchial asthma includes a long-acting beta agonist, a LABA is called, associated with an inhaled corticosteroid. Those are what is called controller medications. And the purpose of a controller medication is to keep the patient from having obstruction, airflow obstruction. Asthma can be treated also with a rescue inhaler. Uh, patients that have been on a combination of a lava and an inhaled corticosteroid, when they have breakthrough bronchospasm, they can become short of breath, they can use a simple rescue inhaler to, uh, to treat uh, breakthrough bronchospasm. The reason why it's called rescue is because of the fact when you begin to develop signs and symptoms of shortness of breath and tightness, even though you are an and control the medication, this will help you and prevent you from going to the emergency room or ending up in, a, in, in the hospital. In fact, some patients develop severe asthma that the airways obstruct and they can develop respiratory failure that may require at times uh, treatments in the emergency room or in the intensive care unit. Some patients may even require intubation mechanical ventilatory support. If you are interested in some of the things that we do here in our office, please uh, uh, check out links so that you can learn more about asthma and other diseases that are treated here in our office.